Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about the Java Use API which we utilize with Sightly components. So as we all aware that what is Sightly is, so Sightly is a powerful templating language which we use in Adobe EEM 6.0 and onwards. Okay, so it has many attributes like uh, data sleet test, data sleet list, uh, which can render the data on your components. Okay, so most of the things which we need for a component we can do with uh, slightly but there are certain scenarios like uh, if you want to reverse a string which uh, you have given as a path as a part of your uh, components dialog so those kind of stuffs you cannot do directly in the slightly or uh, if I uh, say that if you need to render some custom logic or based on some services and uh, other stuffs then you might need to write some custom Java code okay so to ease for developers Sightly provides a Java use API okay so by using that uh, API you can extend your Java classes with the inbuilt uh, API classes like WCM use Pozo okay once you inherit once you extend that uh, API class then uh, you will be having access of uh, multiple objects that you can utilize in your Java class okay without writing too much code so this is a feature which has been provided by Sightly for ease of developers okay so uh, let's move so I will show you that how we can create a uh, uh, or how we can utilize the WCM use APIs okay so uh, I'm having a very simple component that is hello world and I'm having a dialog property text okay so whatever the text I will put here it should be converted to uppercase okay so since in Sightly I do not have any uh, method which will directly uh, convert it to the uppercase like to uppercase or anything so there is no uh, such methods so to uh, accomplish this thing I need to uh, write some custom logic in some Java class okay so I can create Java class in two ways either I will create my Java class here only in my apps folder okay so that will be a local uh, Java class or I can write my Java class in my bundles okay like uh, if I am having a a proper hierarchy of my services and Java classes and then I can write my Java class here as well okay so it's up to you that how you want to use your um, custom Java code if you are utilizing some services then uh, I would prefer to write those uh, classes into my uh, bundles okay so let's see I will uh, utilize this way only so what I need to do is I just need to go uh, create a folder or uh, like Java and create one simple class hello world dot Java and I should extend it from WCM use Pozo okay as you can see in the import section that uh, this class is provided uh, by the Sightly framework okay so that is a uh, use API class which has some uh, methods like activate okay so once you extend your class with uh, WCM use Pozo you will have to override activate method and it this method will automatically get called once you create an object of this class okay so there is no need to explicitly call this activate method it will be uh, getting called automatically once you create the object of this one so might be you are aware that uh, if we need to create an object of any class then uh, we use this attribute data use I can give any attribute name here like I have given hello so you can give any attribute like uh, we are just creating an object of class okay so I will uh, tell you what is the meaning of this one so now what I have done is I have just initiated my class okay so once you have written this class sorry once you have written this statement in the background what uh, what it does is it automatically calls the activate method of hello world okay
so in hello world there are um, like the control will come to this method and uh, as i said that in wcm use pozo it there are uh, many uh, implicit objects that you can uh, directly utilize okay so let's go back to slide i will show more of the stuffs so as i said that there are two ways local install and the bundle install and it totally depends on you that to where you want to keep your uh, java class your custom code okay and there is one thing that you should uh, keep in your mind uh, once uh, creating the local java use class if there is any hyphen okay suppose uh, i'm i have decided to keep my java class here okay in this structure and i'm using uh, there is some hyphen okay hello world hyphen abc something then uh, i should uh, revert i should uh, convert it to underscore okay like here if uh, okay so the package name uh, suppose it is my package name then it should be not like this it should be only underscore okay so all the hyphens should be converted into the underscores if you are using the local okay local way of including the java files as of now i am uh, because there is no uh, you can see here in uh, the apps folder there is no underscore so i am not using uh, any uh, such conversation okay so you must uh, keep this thing in your mind while uh, you are developing or while you are using the local java use class so <clears throat> we have discussed about this activate method that it will automatically call once you create an object okay so uh, this use api normally we have two classes wcm use wcm use pozo so in 6.1 onwards we are using wcm use pozo it has some uh, it has been rewritten by adobe okay it is uh, it has some more security features uh, than the wcm use so now we uh, will focus on uh, only on wcm use pozo because it has the uh, i mean it has been rewritten from the scratch and it has um, uh, it includes some more security features so uh, we use wcm use pozo while uh, we are creating our uh, custom uh, classes okay <coughs> so as i was saying that uh, this class provides uh, uh, a set of context objects okay so like uh, get current page get resource page get properties get current design so in sightly we were directly using current style dot current uh, design dot okay properties dot so in the in your custom class where you have extend this api you can directly use this these methods like if i want to access the properties of the dialog in my uh, custom java class which i have created here so what you need to do is you just need to write this statement get properties dot get so what it will do it will uh, go into the content section and it will search with this text property and will return the value of that uh, property which you have saved as a part of your dialog okay so there are many methods like uh, if you want to access any services then there is get script uh, sling script helper class and uh, so there are many objects so the, this is a list that you can utilize get resource if you want to have a to uh, directly access any uh, resource resolver then you don't need to uh, means uh, um, create an object of resource resolver factory you can directly use uh, get resource resolver dot get resource methods okay in your site in your wcm use enabled class okay so what i mean with wcm use enabled class is that if you are extending uh, the wcm use pozo it means that you are uh, that your class is wcm enabled okay wcm use api enabled fine so what i have done here is that uh, i am getting the property of my dialog okay and i am just um, checking here whether uh, 
it is null or not okay because the very first time if i'm not using any cq template or cq template path properties of my component uh, definitely it will be the blank okay so in that scenario if i want to pass something from uh, my html to my java class okay so i can do that as well so what i need to do is i just um, provide the property here like text equals to some default text so this is my property and i am providing some default text so this is the syntax by which you can uh, also pass some values to your java classes 